Earth spin mysteriously is slowing down. We've run into trouble. Scientists are baffled. Why is this happening? The planet has unexpectedly decided to spin a bit slower this year. And scientists up to now have been unable to make heads or tails of this behavior. Why is this happening? Early last year, scientists noted the Earth had begun to spin a bit faster around its axis. After the chaos and turmoil of 2020, the news was likely welcome. It was welcome by most as it meant that the new year would arrive a bit sooner than expected and then speed up rotation continued through the first half of this year. But the planet appears to have had a change of heart. It's now spinning at a slower rate. So what is going on? On average, the planet completes a full rotation around its central axis every 86,400 seconds, or that is 24 hours. In practice, though, each spin can vary in time by fractions of a second, which over time could add to full seconds. So it can also, of course, that means it would have a, an effect on geology. Now, today, uh, scientists keep track of time with the aid of atomic clocks, which set the standard for Universal Coordinated Time, UTC. And these ultra-accurate clocks keep a measure of the time by observing the movement of the electrons in atoms chilled to absolute zero. That's minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And the scientists explain if there is a discrepancy between the time set by the atomic clocks and the Earth's spin, scientists can add or subtract so-called leap seconds to account for the difference. Astrophysicist Graham Jones told BBC earlier this year, since the system of leap seconds was introduced in 1972, the Earth's rotation has generally been a bit slow, and so far there have been 27 leap seconds, and they have all been positive. In other words, they have all added an extra second to our clocks, enabling the Earth to catch up, he says. According to Live Science, the data compiled by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, one such leap second was added to the clock on New Year's Eve 2016, and on average, scientists have added a leap second to the clocks every 18 months or so. When the Earth's spin sped up in 2020, scientists contemplated the possibility of adding a negative leap second to make up the difference. That year's shortest day was clocked on July 19, when the planet completed a day in a whole 1.4602 milliseconds faster than the 86,400 second average. But according to the report in Time and Data, in Time and Date, the planet was slowed down once again after the average length of a day grew between July 1st and September 30th by 0.05 milliseconds more than in 2020. The Earth is consequently spinning slower than it has in the first half of this year, although the speed is still above average. And based on the present rate of spin, scientists may need to introduce a negative leap second in about 10 years' time, they said. Now, this could change without notice if the planet decides to speed up or slow down without warning, and the bizarre phenomenon has made it rather hard for scientists trying to model this behavior in the future. Nick Stamatakos of the U.S. Naval Observatory told Time and Date, We've tried internally modeling things for the next two or more years, but we've run into trouble predicting more than six months or one year ahead. Now, scientists are not sure what causes these long-term changes in Earth's rotation. Sometimes they're triggered by powerful earthquakes, as they can cause the Earth's mass to be rearranged. Scientists also believe the loss of ice in Greenland has contributed to the Earth slowing down, as a result of meltwater moving away from the planet's poles. And according to NASA, shifts in the Earth's mass can lead to variations of up to milliseconds a day. And Richard Gross at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory explains 
Earth is just like a skater. Anything that moves closer to the Earth's axis speeds its rotation up, and moving mass away from the axis slows it down, he said. So this is on Express UK, that our Earth is, uh, by fractions of a millisecond, slowing down. They don't know why it's happening. This by Sebastian Kettley. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.